Here's a little fun fact about me. I love pentatonics. Literally love them. I just found out today that pentatonics is coming to Boston to the TD Garden. One of my like biggest dreams is to go see them. And so I was just watching the their newest YouTube video earlier today. Their description box has all of their dates on tour. Last time I checked, looking to see if they were anywhere close, the closest place they were gonna be was in like, I Maryland or something like that. And I'm in Massachusetts, that is a pretty far drive. I looked it up today and after they they go to Japan and like Australia, they then they come back to Canada and California and then they come to Boston and I am literally so excited. I texted my parents, all caps, and I was like, can we go see Pentatonics in November at the TD Garden? And like, like a bunch of like question marks, exclamation marks, and uh, I really want to go. Hello soap lovers and welcome to another adventurous Monday with soap. So this week I am making, I'm always making something most of the time, but I am making my first craft from the big ass book of crafts that my brother gave me for my birthday, for my birthday. I was gonna say Christmas, but Christmas was a while ago. It was for my birthday. At Target, a couple weeks ago, I got this. It's just a block of felt. It's literally just felt. A lot of it. Beautiful, I love felt. And we're gonna be making some felt creatures. Maybe just one, just one singular felt creature. I'm so excited because literally all these scraps in the books are like impossible. You need like, I don't know, sticky back foam sheets, small blocks of wood. I don't have any things of these things or like ultra suede or like it's like repurpose this cabinet and tie ropes around this chair or stool or something and I'm like I can't do any of that. I don't have this stuff. I'm looking for simple easy crafts that can make a YouTube video. I'm not trying to be special here. I found this one and I was so excited. Felt creatures and I really wanted to use this felt. This is gonna be a long video. Why am I talking so much? My goodness gracious. You guys don't wanna to listen to me talk. I have felt creatures. That's upside down. Felt creatures. You get it. We're making felt creatures. Here we go. Here's what you need. Two squares of felt in two different colors. So, in my uh, felt block here, I'm gonna open it. Oh, yes. Just untie it. Beautiful felt. Don't need that anymore. Um, and I am feeling, what am I feeling today? I don't know. Orange? See a nice orange color? Orange, um, orange you glad I didn't say banana? Ha ha ha. Anybody know that knock knock joke? I do, okay. Orange and blue? Orange and blue? I think those are good colors. Yeah, all right. I needle. I have these sewing kits here which also contains a thread in a color that will complement my fabric, which I have yet to decide, but we'll choose soon. Good. Three buttons, at least two of them the same size for the eyes. So my mom has this, it's like a cookie tin thing, but it's literally just full of buttons. Just, just buttons. This is all buttons. It's like full to the brim of buttons. So I'm just gonna look through here and I'm gonna find three buttons, two for the eyes and one for the nose. Well, I like this cute little one, it's like a green thing. I think I could use that for the nose. Mom, I wanna know what in the world your plan was for all of these buttons. I mean, I understand that like, if you lose a button on a shirt, you could replace it, but like, seriously, this is like a hundred or so buttons in here. We don't need this many buttons. You probably don't even have half these shirts. All right, I've decided it's gonna have one purple eye and one bluish greenish eye. Uh, there, I, you can't see that at all, but believe me, those are the colors they are. All right, buttons, just go back in here. So now that I have my buttons, the last thing it says I'm gonna need is pillow stuffing. So I have this giant bag of stuffing here. There you go, now I have two front and back body body parts. He's beautiful. He's really, really pretty. Two big ears and two little ears to go right in the middle like that. That's how cute. It's adorable. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I think I'm done with this now. Throw it on the ground because that's where all the rest of my trash always goes. 
It's not a huge mess in here. I swear to you, it is not a huge mess. It's actually pretty clean. I guess now I gotta decide what color thread I'm gonna use. Red? Sure, that seems like a good color. I have a needle. Why is there paint on? <gasps> I'm gonna thread it with some thread. Here is my threaded needle that you probably cannot see at all with a nice knot tied at the end. I'm gonna sew the little ears onto the big ears. Here we go. Okay, holy cow, that took a long time. One little tiny cute ear sewn and attached. Adorable. Now I have two little ears with little ears in the middle. So cute. So now I'm gonna sew the eyes and nose on button things from the button. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, yay, now it has two eyes. Oh, it's adorable. Guess I'm gonna start sewing the pieces together. Okay, now that I've gotten to the head, I'm gonna sandwich the ears into it like that. Okay, now I have both ears sandwiched in, so I'm gonna sew around until there's a little hole on one side, and then I'm gonna stuff them, and then stitch the hole closed. Here we go. What? I just, uh, I just broke my needle. Like, Look at this. That used to be my needle. I guess I'm gonna stuff my guy now because I can't do any more sewing with a broken needle. I gotta get a new needle. Jeez, what the heck? Here we go. Now to finish sewing up his legs and stuffing some more stuffing in for his legs. And now I've almost got it sewed up all the way. I'm just gonna stuff this one little leg here. All right, so uh, there you go. It's all stuffed up and beautiful and sewn up and everything it's so cute i feel like it's almost like an ugly doll yeah like an ugly doll i always used to want an ugly doll now i've got one i've made one myself it's beautiful all right so that's all i have for this week's video guys if you liked it go down and give it a thumbs up and while you're down there don't forget to check me out on facebook snapchat or twitter along with my email that's in the description box if you want to send me any ideas or anything you want to see me do. Leave a comment down below if you've ever made a doll or if now you want to make one or leave a comment about how much you think this looks like an ugly doll. Make yourself an ugly doll. I don't know. And as always guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Adventurous Monday. I'll see you guys next week. Stay clean.